Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch on the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipsticks and Lip Liners. So, um, I have in total 9 shades. I don't have their 10th shade which is the dead of the night. So yeah, this video is actually mainly about a lip swatch and my thoughts, my review about this lip kits that Kylie Jenner has. But before any of that, we will go ahead and get on to the lip swatch so you would have a good look of how these shades look on my lips. And yeah, if you want to see how this liquid lips look, then just keep on watching. Now the first color is called Coco K and this one is a soft baby pink. I love how it's baby pink. It's not milky shaky, which I don't like because I don't I just don't like milkshake colors in my lips. I just, it doesn't look good, girl. It doesn't look good. This one, it's so cute. It makes you look young and just like a sweet 16 girl. Love it. Next shade is called Candy K and this one is a perfect combination of brown and pink. It is so pretty. It's one of my favorites. I love it. Next is one of their latest shades, it's called Exposed and at first I thought I was not gonna like this one and I was wrong because I end up loving it. It's almost like an apricot, an apricot type of nude. It is so pretty, it makes you look like you're very feminine, very lady, I don't know, it's so simple, it's like it goes with everything. I love this type of nude, love it. Next shade is called 22. Now a lot of people think that this one is red orange because of the packaging, but it's not. It's actually like a light terracotta color. It's so pretty. It reminds me of Kathleen Light's um, Miami Fever collaboration with Offer Cosmetics, but this one is lighter. I love it. It's kind of funky, but summery and cute. Like it makes you like young, wild, and free. Like kind of like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Next shade is called Mary Jo K and this red is a bloody red. I love how red this thing is. Like the type of red that it has, it's blood, it's there's something sexy about it, but at the same time kind of elegant. Oh, I love this red. It's so pretty. Like, oh gosh. Next shade is called Dolce K. Now this kind of reminds me of NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm. I'm not really a fan of this color, it's just because it, I don't really grab them on a daily basis. But this nude brown color is actually very sexy. It makes your lips kind of plumpier. Next shade is called True Brown K. Now, I have been into deep brown colors like in the past few months. I don't know why. It's almost like next to red for me. I love it. It's something that is sexy for me and kind of smoky. I don't know at the same time. Now, this color is very chocolatey deep brown. Now, if you don't like that, 
stay away from these colors but for me i actually love it i think it is gorgeous <laughs> Next shade is called Posy K. Now this one has a hint of violet I find in lighter skin tones. But for me, it almost kind of looked pink, like just pink. But I don't know, I end up liking this color. I thought it was going to be more on a violet undertone, but it wasn't on me. On my friends, it has, but it's pretty. Last but not the least is called Court K. Now this one is a very, very deep plum dark color. I am in love. It's like one of those reds, dark browns, and deep plum shades that has been liking me so much. I don't know, it's so sexy, it's very elegant. I like it, it's smoky, it's everything. It's life, technically. I love this color, love it. And that was it that completes the lip swatch guys the lip swatch part we're not yet done we're gonna go ahead in the review so first and foremost do keep in mind that this shades look different in different skin tones I'm wearing candy K right now and this how candy K looks on my skin tone I do wear a makeup forever HD foundation um, in the shade y405 now that is my real skin tone so first is the formula I like the formula. The formula is very liquidy. It's very watery. It's not moussey. It's not creamy at all. It's liquid. It's watery, which I love. But even though these are very watery, they're very opaque, they're very pigmented, full of coverage. I like to you know, refer that to liquid lipsticks. But they're very full of coverage. It only takes one coat. You don't really need two coats or anything just to show the color. Plus, you don't feel anything. Like, it's very light. It is full of coverage, but it's very light. Like. Like, I'm not wearing anything. Another is that you can do that. <laughs> That's amazing. You can pop your lips like that. You can stick them up together and you will not lose any part there, girl. I mean, everything is in there intact, good. You will not lose any spots. You will not have bald spots in there. It will stay there for good. Just don't overcoat it too. One of the cons is I tried to overcoat it and uh-uh don't do that don't do that it's gonna crumble don't go too much and even though you're gonna eat greasy buttery and you know drink water drink soda or anything it will not come off it will not come off. another is that it only takes 30 seconds to a minute for it to dry up and um the lip pencils as well are very very creamy very very smooth and they're very very pigmented although I must say that you cannot have these and sharpen these with an ordinary sharpener you must have the MAC single sharpener because that one is specialized only for this type of lip pencils this is really not a pencil I don't know what was this black thing is but it's something that cannot be sharpened with an ordinary sharpener so that's just keep that in mind okay back to the liquid lipsticks the doe foot of these things are cute now the doe foot kind of reminds me of the dose of colors liquid lipstick if you have a dose of color liquid lipstick it almost has the same doe foot although the dose of colors doe foot has a little bit fatter than these but they almost have the same feeling like it tickles your lips in a good way i like that i like that <laughs> just like any other liquid lipstick you really need your lips to be dried um, clean, bare, nothing on it except this thing. I mean, when you do your makeup, you can have your foundation in it, you know, um, that's fine. As long as there's no lip balms, no lip balms, no lip balms. Do not put any lip balms before you apply this. 
Do not put any lip balms before you apply this liquid lipsticks. Any other liquid lipsticks, not particularly this one. I mean, in any other liquid lipstick, because it will ruin the formula. If you really want to see the true color of the formula of a particular liquid lipsticks, you need to have your lips ready for it. Like you need to have it bare, clean, moisturized, um, not choppy, not dry or anything at all, but just bare, just like a lips, like you know, a plumpy lips like that. I'm kind of not okay with the fact that you need to have the app before you can know when the restock is because that's really selfish. I mean, Kylie, you don't need any more money. You're, you're rich. You're rich, okay? You're rich. And um, this lip, uh, lip kits retails for $30, which is almost, almost $30, which isn't bad if you would think about it because Anastasia Beverly Hills, Kat Von D, Jeffree Star, Ofra, almost all liquid lipsticks retails for $20 and up. And um, these things are almost like 29 point something. And you get a lip liner, you get the liquid lipsticks, and it's it's a cute packaging. Like, we gotta admit that. Congratulations with the packaging. I really, really like it. Like, like it. So if you would do the math, it's almost $15 each. Or if you would, we would say probably the liquid lipsticks cost $20 and this one costs almost just 10. I mean, the lip, lip liners almost cost just 10. So it's really not that, not that, you know, expensive if you would think about it. I really like to talk with my hands, you know? Another thing is that what if you ran out of the lip pencils? How are you gonna buy it? You know, <gasps> I'm sweating. They only sell this as a package with the liquid lipstick in it. I know I've heard that they were starting to do that. They're gonna start to do that. That they're thinking to start to do that. What it is. They're thinking to start on doing that because a lot of people really are kind of um, complaining about it. Like, I'm out of the pencils. How am I gonna buy it? I still have the liquid lipsticks. Like, you know, it really doesn't make sense to buy the whole pack if you still have this and you just don't have this. You know what I mean? And yeah, I guess that's all my review for this liquid lipsticks. All in all, I do recommend it. Well, anyway, that's all for the lip swatch slash mini review for the matte liquid lipsticks of Kylie Jenner. Oh, by the way, um, if you're trying to get these, Kylie Jenner is starting to post actually the restock dates on her Snapchat. So if you don't follow her, please follow her if you're trying to get this because you can get the restock dates on her Snapchat. She started doing that last week. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, yeah, if, you, if you're if you trying to get these, it's easy. Don't buy the app. I really, really don't recommend you to buy the app. It's not worth it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the thumbs up if you did like this video. Comment down below what you think. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. My nose is itchy. You were in trouble when you walked in. Say hi. Shame on me now. Oh, you tell them how handsome you are. Oh, mommy, I'm so handsome. I want to let them it. Oh, boobs. Showing my boobs. Wala na nga ako boobs. Ipapakita mo pa. Let's open this. Smell that is kind of like so new.